G'day Barons, today I'm going to talk about the biggest tip that you'll ever hear in golf, which is keep your head still. Now, for those who play off a high handicap, your mate who plays off a high handicap probably told you to keep your head still. Everyone tells you to keep your head still, but it's actually not entirely true. You don't have to keep your head dead still, okay? So I'm going to use two players here as an example, and they're two of the best ball strikers in the history of the game. That's Annika Sorenstam and Robert Allenby, both amazing ball strikers. Neither of them were actually looking at the golf ball at contact. Annika Sorenstam's eyes were way out in front, sometimes as far as a metre, a metre and a half out in front when she actually made contact with the ball. And Robert Allenby, who I know um, very well because I caddy for him for years on tour, never looked at the ball at contact. He was always about half a metre to a metre in front of the ball with his eye line, okay? I'm going to discuss this because if they were told to keep their head still, they literally wouldn't be anywhere near as good a ball striker, and there's a big reason for this, okay? When everybody addresses the ball, if you've got a correct setup, most of the time your, your head is slightly behind the ball, okay? So when you make your backswing, most people are told, keep your head still. So they keep their head still to contact, and the club, let's call it, flies by them. And you'll see by me doing this how flippy the club can become, okay? So in other words, if your body, let's call it, stops, and the club goes by, of course the club head is going to flick. When the club head flicks, you change the biggest dynamic in the swing, you're changing your club face, and of course the ball can go anywhere, okay? So when you get to an elite level, you're taught to release the body, which stabilises the club face, okay? That's a lesson for another day. But today I'm talking about the head and the role it plays in the release. So Annika and Robert both make their back swings, and as they swing downwards, their eye line shifts to down the target line and in front of the ball, which helps square up and rotate their body, which stabilises their club head, okay? So on their way through, they look ahead of the ball, which stabilises their face, and that makes them amazing ball strikers. Now, their head doesn't necessarily move with them, it rotates, so if you look at my head from a visual point straight on, my head doesn't actually move, it rotates, okay, so it's not like I'm moving my head, but by no means are they keeping their head dead still when the club would fly right by them, okay? So a good little tip you can do at the driving range is set up and look at your target, look down your target line, and then when you strike the ball, as you're making contact, allow your eyes to follow the ball. Don't lift your head, clearly, that allows you to get out of your posture. Follow the ball, with your eye line whilst staying in your posture, okay? And that will really help stabilise the club face through impact and make you actually hit better straighter shots because the club is less active after the ball. Do that and you'll add some swagger to your swing. If you like that video and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. But if you want to get all the inside stuff, head over to golfbarons.com and sign up for our inner safety. Boom.